before move forward to the creating some build pipeline we first hands on practice some command line to uh, restore build and uh, build and test the application in command line so how can we can do this first of all i open my uh, application folder let's go to the terminal uh, now i am in the location of the for application location uh, my application is present in the udemy inside the source and the appli it's my application folder i am now presenting in this directory okay so first you need to insert you need to install some software first of all is dot net hyphen hyphen version you see my dot net uh, is already installed and also need to install dot net ef hyphen hyphen version my ef entity framework or command line tools also installed in my local machine if these two software is not installed your machine so please first install install this and you can find several video in youtube uh, or uh, if you run dot net cli install you can get this tool from there uh, so from there suppose install and nuget package.net cli and it's a package install dot uh, net cli install windows install dot net oh yeah when you are install the dot net in your local machine the dot net cl already installed but you need to install dot net ef in windows so you get the ef tools reference and installation install the tool dot net tool install global dot net ef okay so you need to install both software in your local machine okay so our first target is how we can restore our package so if i click the ls my project is inside the src folder if i go click the src then my project new university backend then api is my project now i am the location of university management backend dot api so i need i run some command that is so restore command dot net restore it restored the application it told us it's already restored successfully okay so now if i if we build the application run the command dot net you know when the build is complete uh, it creates a inside the build and a release and debug is generated after you build your application now suppose i delete the release folder okay so if i build the application dot net build hyphen hyphen config configuration configuration release you see the release build is generated successfully if i go to there you see the release folder is created and dot net 6 and the application is generated there okay so say so third part is we need to test our application so you know in our project we have a uh, test application that is the yeah. is outside that inside the test folder if i click there and open uh, open in terminal the location is uh, start from terminal is start from that particular location okay so before i write some test uh, test i show you i have already written some test code that is category it is a basic test only some uh, subtract uh, multiply this type of test i already written there and to 10 to 20 30 is present there if i if you click the test application uh, run all then you see all my test is successfully passed if i uh, suppose i change something here suppose 300 we know the test is failed there if i run the project again run all then you see the failed one test because if any class any one test is failed then the full test result is failed okay so you can get the information which test is failed there 
if you click and you see the proper solution the test sum is actual 30 but we expected 300 okay so we know we already a simple uh, uh, x unit test uh, project added there so if we build the test application so we, we have already in the inside the test application project so we run dot net test hyphen hyphen configuration now release you see the test project also run and here you get the information total four test run and passed all four tests even if i uh, change it again save this and again run the command so you see that uh, failed one passed three tests total four tests and my application is failed because if any test is failed then the application test is show the failed okay so now uh, we have the confidence and how to we uh, we work uh, in command line tool and you know uh, in another part is present there generating the migration previously when we i start the application you know uh, i created some migration using the dotnet command line tool that is dotnet ef migration name of the any migration my i created the migration name suppose initial migration then i added uh, show the application db context and the startup project is api and the migration project is the ma university management backend database for the for this reason you know the migration is generated inside the src uh, database and you see the migration is present there so uh, this tutorial i show you uh, in the dotnet command line tool without any editor you can also r build run and the application so what is the purpose of two of these things one is publish and other is store artifact suppose if you are not using uh, azure portal in uh, um, in automation mode then what you can do you you go when you will go to the azure portal create a application service then copy your copy your file suppose when you uh, copy your this release pro release project all file and using the ftp or any other tool you store this file and start the application okay so this will be done automatically when we using the build and it store all this uh, dll file in one area that is the artifact area okay microsoft when you uh, generated build it created a zip file and stored this zip zip folder uh, a, a specific area that is the stored artifact area okay so it's uh, because when uh, we we created the now we are working on the ci pipeline but in future we work on the cd so cd means when the zip file is created zip file automatically deploy any our environment so that that the reason we need to generate the artifact file okay so i think uh, you have now the basic knowledge and one another important thing is when you now you are uh, running this type of command in your local machine but when you are uh, using in the azure devops pipeline that time microsoft provided us some pipeline provided are some hosted machine and those machine already install this kind of software okay so next video i will discuss more about that topic okay bye